of a s- smoked weed and now you're spending s- seven, eight hours a week smoking weed, people would say, he's addicted. It's like, well, no, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's kind of a, you know, a positive thing. And it's, it's, just, it's a very subjective term. You know, what is yeah. addiction? What is dependency? And it can be projected. You know, I could quite easily sit here and say that you've got an addiction with your phone, but I know that you're reading and you've got things on your phone. Yeah. But therefore, it's not my position to say that. I mean, I do also have an addiction with with my phones so, so there is yeah, that but I yeah a little bit <laughs> <laughs> but everyone has that but, but they're not illegal but again it's it's, they should be. it's as lazy an argument as as you are saying oh well if that's illegal then yeah and, yeah and and this is where you need a sophisticated position this is where we should should hand over to the scientists like susie gage and carl, uh, carl hart because they are the, and professor like they're the ones that are paid to make the decisions on yeah. what addiction is and how we should address it so therefore we should probably listen but what we're finding is the politicians just don't like what the specialists are saying. No. So therefore, are flying in the face of it, trying to come up with their own arbitrary evidence, and it's just a mess, an absolute yeah. mess. Well, one of the things I found are, are really interesting, and there's other stuff else outside the docu- documentary I want to talk about. Um, just briefly, we've touched upon it, but the our love and celebration of alcohol, that, you know, if, if something's gone well, uh, let's toast it. Yeah. And it's generally an acceptable thing if, if someone... Oh, oh, a winds on a TV. There's there's champagne everywhere. All these things. Where and one of the stats that came up with that there's I think this was in America, but there's a fifty thousand deaths per year from alcohol. And and just that if, if it's a celebration, it's alcohol. If it's commiseration, it's alcohol. If you're happy, if you're sad, it's always the answer. Whereas there's no deaths from cannabis. And again, this isn't just a, a focus on that. But one of the things I liked and I found really interesting, which again, it's I guess it's partly theorised, but it kind of pointed out that the change in our relationship with the police can be traced back to the war on drugs starting because it was one of the first moments where, um, as you were saying, rather than laws that we see as morally... Or, or, or the fact is, if a law that we all see as morally logical, it's easy to, easy to enforce alar murder so on and so forth whereas laws that appear unreasonable are the ones that cause tension or appear that we're being told to do something just because so it's just your parents saying well just because that's just that's how it is yeah. rather than it being so something that we all agree with that that's when the police start to become the enemies and i'm not saying that there was always a love of police but i certainly have a personal attachment to the fact that my granddad was a policeman and i remember as a kid that was a hugely proud thing, and he was a he was a great policeman. It was a it was a, a proud job to have, and I don't think that's the case anymore. I think there has been a huge turnaround, and that's partly because of, you know, in recent years, obviously you can look at a police brutality and things like that. But again, I think these can be things that 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 feed each other. As you know, as soon as our our view and and attitude towards the police started to change, then, then their attitude is going to change, and it's this this self fulfilling prophecy essentially. We, we've got this term called police by consent, and it's yeah. a very simple explanation of what we do, and it's it's perfectly plausible that. Things- this piece of fiction is the intro to destruction. This piece of fiction is the intro to destruction. This piece of-